This is a really great project. The cardboard mask makes an owl mask. Here's what it looks like standing up. It's wonderful. Check it out. All right, so to make this, we're going to start with kind of a simpler two-piece version. And the parts that go into this are a circle and this, this kind of shape, right? So to start here, we have the face of the owl. And what I, I have it cut over a seam from a box. So that's already going to fold really nicely. And this circle, you're going to cut here and here and here and here and here. This is what's going to go on the top of your head. So, see where I said fold? You're actually going to fold it up in each of those places. And as you make your way all the way around, you'll start to see, okay, they need to overlap a little bit. But if I put glue here, and if I put glue here, and if I get a little bit of glue in here, I'll end up with this kind of bowl shape, which goes on top. Then, students find this next part a little bit tricky. You're going to need to glue that onto the face. So in this case, what I wound up doing was I wound up ma making a little cut right here and starting to fold it over itself. That's how it, it, it got rounded off on top. And that's why I've got a little cut sign right here. So that this, this rounded off top makes it easier for students to add these two pieces together. But once you have the two of them together, you can start to figure out where the eye, you want the eyes, figure out what you want to do. You could start adding sides, you could start adding things above. It's very easy to imagine ears on this. And that's what innovative arts is all about, trying to customize, trying to think it through, making mistakes, doing some cool stuff. So this is one of the best cardboard masks in terms of customization and, and making cool outcomes. So uh, I hope you have fun with it and I can't wait to see what you make.